We all, I know y'all tired of the questions. I'm not even gonna ask you, I'm not even gonna ask you the question of Canelo Alvarez David, but I want you to, but, but just this, is it that, is it, that's it? Y'all not looking back at, at Canelo Alvarez. Y'all not gonna entertain that no more. Y'all just moving forward is Morel, the winner of day of Bavol, Baturbiev, and Sudo Ramirez. That's it. No more Canelo Alvarez. Yeah, not 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 for now. You know, um, the reason he asked for two hundred million dollars is not to fight David. So I don't think nobody's gonna pay him two hundred million dollars. So let's uh, just hope that tomorrow Canelo Alvarez will wake up and say, "Hey, at least give me a hundred thousand. And I think they will give him a hundred thousand to make that fight. But two hundred thousand, it, it's it's an illusion. So uh, hopefully somebody comes out with that money, but I don't think nobody will come up with that. So to to uh, for now, let's just focus on the, the real real fights that can happen. Hey, you know what? Now that we saw that that um, Bo um Usyk is getting one hundred and fourteen million, now it doesn't look too much. I think he could get one hundred and fifty to fight your son at least, or two hundred. I think so because Usyk is getting one hundred and fourteen million. Well, I think. Uh, they can make their money if they give them 200 million, but it, it, the risk is a little bit too big, I think. And plus, I don't think Canelo, even though if he gets the 200 million, I don't know what other excuses he's gonna bring. You know, so it's not that easy. You know, he knows he doesn't want to fight his face, David. And even if they give him the 200, 200 million, he might come up with something else. What do you think about that, Bud Crawford and Canelo? What do you think about that? I, I mean. I, I would like to see it, you know, and I will see it 100%. I just think Canelo's too big for Crawford, you know. At the end of the day, uh, uh, you know, uh, it will be a great fight, I believe, you know, but I think Canelo's too big. Well, are y'all ever planning to do that, a home, like a homecoming or, fight or, in Mexico? I mean, I think they're struggling, right, to make that fight, right? I what, think so. I mean, I'm, why, why don't they make why don't they make that fight with David Benavides at 168? <laughs> Well, but Crawford, hey, Crawford hey, and hey, that, I mean, why not? We're, we're hey, we're one hundred percent ready to go. Let's make it happen. Let's, Let's go, Craw <laughs> Crawford versus David Benavides. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Crawford said he will move to one hundred and sixty-eight pound division, right? Why not? You know, I think, uh, but I think still, you know, it's too small for David. Uh, but you know. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> That's the, the EO, even the fans like to see illusions. They like yeah, to see yeah. But I'm hey. just saying, he's too too small, man. Too small. But, you know, if he's fighting Canelo, and then if that fight's not happening, you know, make it happen. <laughs> well, well, well. Seems like a good idea, in my opinion. Jose Benavidez Sr. feels if Bud Crawford can't secure the Canelo Alvarez fight, a fight that he desperately wants, if he can't do that, then the door is open for Terrence Bud Crawford to challenge David Benavidez. Hey, I think that's a good idea, in my opinion. I mean, a lot of people do, do see Terrence Bud Crawford as pound for pound, one, two, three, four, five. You can flip it around, right? We've seen great things in the sport of boxing before, and we could see it again. Now, there's people out there in the boxing world that feels like a certain fighter that's calling for, uh, you know, that dare to be great fight to pass a test to get that type of fight, right? Like when Tiafimo Lopez was calling out Terrence Bud Crawford, people were saying, well, T if Tiafimo Lopez wants to fight with Terrence Bud Crawford, he should fight Boots Ennis first and move up to 147. And then maybe then he could get Terrence Bud Crawford. Both highly accomplished fighters, right? Just like Bud Crawford and Canelo Alvarez, highly accomplished fighter. Now, if, look, we saw when Jamel Charlo, the Iron Man, I, um, Jamel Charlo, the undisputed 154-pound division, moved up to face Canelo Alvarez, right? Even Jamel Charlo in the post-fight interview, in the post-fight press conference said that Canelo Alvarez did a few of my punches. Now, we all know that um, Iron Man, he's a knockout artist. The way that he got his belts by knocking everybody out, uh, everybody out to get to to get to the, to be undisputed. He knocked out Tony Harrison. He knocked out Jason Rosario. He knocked out um Brian Castaño. He's a knockout artist, and he's actually bigger than Bud Crawford. So, what's gonna make Bud Crawford if he does fight the likes of the Canelo Alvarez? What is he is is he gonna does he have more power than Jamel Charlo? That's what we're trying to say, folks. Hmm. Now look, folks, I've been against I've, I've been against that fight. Terrence Bud Crawford versus Canelo Alvarez. But you know what? 
I, 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 got, I, gotta, I, I gotta be real and I gotta be, you know what I'm saying, give the benefit of the doubt for those great fighters that's calling for, for, for calling those type of fights to enhance their greatness. Terrence Buck Crawford has the accomplishments and the legacy to call for a Canelo Alvarez. I gotta be fair. I may think that Canelo Alvarez is going to whoop um, Terrence Bill Crawford. I think is it could be a mismatch. But who am I to 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 hold back a Terrence Bill Crawford to have an opportunity to dare to be great because he has earned it. He's earned the opportunity to dare to be great. I don't want to take that away from him as a boxing fan. As somebody that always say that I want to preserve the modern day warriors, modern day gladiators, the one that put their life in the line for a pure entertainment. I don't want to be that type of guy to hold him back. Just like, just like I wouldn't want people to hold T from Lopez back, becoming the two-time lineal champion, and him there to be great versus Terrence Bill Crawford. Just like I was also a supporter of Jamel Charlo there to be great and go seek and fight um, Canelo Alvarez. Right? That's the only way that we're going to see some great things in the sport of boxing if we let these fighters exceed the expectations that we have for them. I don't want to contradict myself. I don't want to be a hypocrite. So I do support Terrence Bill Crawford in trying to dare to be great and fight Canelo Alvarez. Just like, remember when we was talking about Canelo Alvarez after the Kalen Plant fight? And we was talking about Canelo Alvarez. Remember when they, when they petitioned a fight, Makabu in the Cruiserweight division? We was, I was a supporter. I was a supporter of Canelo Alvarez moving up to the Cruiserweight division to face Makabu and have an opportunity to become a five-division world champion in time for Mayweather. So I want to I wanna say, I, I take it back, those videos in the past in which I said that Terrence Bill Crawford moving up to fight Canelo Alvarez is not, is not right. He shouldn't want to do it. It's stuff like that. Nah. Because there's great fighters in the sport of boxing that have done the work to dare to be great. Just like Oleksandr Usyk became an undisputed in the cruiserweight division and moved up to the heavyweight division. And beating up guys that outweigh him 40 pounds. But if we don't give the opera, great people the opportunity to enhance their legacy, then how are they going to enhance it? But if Terrence Bill Crawford can't get the David Benavides, I mean the Canelo Alvarez fight. Then fighting David Benavidez, a guy that a lot of people feel that Canelo Alvarez is avoiding, will really, really open up the eyes to a lot of people. If Bud Crawford fights David Benavidez, and let's just say he's successful, even if he gives him a run for his money, even if there is a controversial decision in which we look at it like, damn, we don't know who actually won. It's a win-win situation for Terrence Bud Crawford. Now we saw how Kalen Plant they got the skills as well to pay the bills. Did it versus David Benavidez. We seen the Bizons rate undefeated at the time, two division champion. Uh, he did versus David Benavidez. It's a whole different type of ball game. But if Terrence Bill Crawford feel like he is great and he could be greater than what he is, not feel that he's great, he's great. But if you want to enhance his greatness, then I think a David Benavidez, if he takes on that type of challenge, in which Canelo Alvarez wasn't willing to take that type of challenge. He sends a he sends a direct, a direct, um, you know, notion that Canelo Alvarez is afraid of the Mexican monster David Benavides. In which I don't feel Canelo Alvarez is afraid of anybody. I feel that Canelo Alvarez have done so much, and his contemporaries that's close. To or, or 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 potential matchups that people have been trying to match Canelo Alvarez with, they haven't even done a quarter of what Canelo Alvarez have done. Canelo Alvarez in a situation where he don't have that icon versus icon type of fight like a Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. David Benavides and Canelo Alvarez is a good fight, but it's just, it's not that type of fight. Currently, David Benavides is not on the pound for pound list, right? Currently, David Benavides doesn't have a title. I mean, a world title. You know what I'm saying? He got the intro in WBC, but we all know who holds the WBC, and that's Arturo Baturbia that's going to be facing Dimitri, Dimitri Bavor for the, for, um, for the rematch. But just like David Benavides is fighting David Morrell, it's come to the sport of, it's comes, it comes now to the sport of boxing that belts may not have, belts may not be on the line, but a great matchup is a championship legacy quality of fight. 
And that's what David Morrell versus David Benavidez is this February 20, um, I mean, Jan February 25th of 2024. Let me know what y'all think. Should Bud step up to the play and face Bud Crawford? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not, damn. Does Bud, would Bud step up to the play and fight David Benavidez and send a message that there is no limitation to his greatness?